John B. Watson's Behaviorism, a revolutionary shift in psychology. The field of psychology has been marked by several paradigm-shifting movements, each challenging the prevailing doctrines and reshaping our understanding of the human mind. One such transformative figure was John Broadus Watson, an American psychologist who is often hailed as the father of behaviorism. Watson's groundbreaking work in behaviorism not only challenged the dominant psychological theories of his time but also laid the foundation for a new era in the study of human behavior. In this comprehensive video, we will explore John B. Watson's behaviorism, its fundamental principles, practical applications, and enduring legacy in psychology. The Emergence of Behaviorism in the early 20th century, psychology was predominantly focused on the study of mental processes, such as consciousness, perception, and introspection. However, John B. Watson, dissatisfied with the subjective and non-scientific nature of introspection, sought to redirect the course of psychology. His discontent with the prevailing introspection-based psychology led him to develop behaviorism as an alternative, and revolutionary approach. Watson's behaviorism was marked by several key principles that set it apart from the psychological paradigms of the time. 1. Focus on observable behavior. One of the central tenets of Watson's behaviorism was its unwavering emphasis on observable and measurable behaviors. Watson believed that psychology should be a science concerned with objective phenomena that could be empirically studied. In his view, mental processes were subjective and immeasurable, making them ill-suited for scientific inquiry. 2. Rejection of mentalism Watson's behaviorism vehemently rejected the concept of mentalism, which was central to traditional psychology. He saw no place for the study of subjective experiences, emotions, or consciousness. Instead, he argued that psychology should concentrate solely on the study of external behaviors. 3. Stimulus-Response Associations Watson's behaviorism was heavily influenced by the stimulus-response theory. He proposed that behavior was a result of conditioning and learned associations between stimuli and responses. This concept laid the foundation for the study of how environmental stimuli shape human behavior. 4. Environmental Determinism Watson was a strong proponent of environmental determinism. He contended that individuals' actions and reactions were determined by their environment, upbringing, and experiences. This perspective challenged the idea that behaviors were primarily influenced by internal, mental processes. The Little Albert Experiment One of the most notorious and ethically controversial experiments associated with John B. Watson's behaviorism is the Little Albert Experiment. This groundbreaking study, conducted in 1920 in collaboration with Rosalie Rayner, involved a nine-month-old infant named Albert. The aim of the experiment was to demonstrate that emotional responses, specifically fear, could be conditioned through the pairing of stimuli and responses. In the experiment, little Albert was initially exposed to a white rat, a rabbit, a monkey, masks, and various other objects and animals, and he displayed no fear towards them. However, Watson and Rayner introduced a loud, startling noise by striking a steel bar with a hammer whenever little Albert reached for the rat. This loud noise, which little Albert initially did not fear, was strategically paired with the presence of the rat. Over time, the repeated pairing of the rat with the loud noise led to little Albert developing a strong fear of the previously harmless white rat. Moreover, this fear extended to similar objects and animals, illustrating the generalization of conditioned emotional responses. The Little Albert experiment provided empirical evidence for the behaviorist view that emotional reactions could be learned through environmental associations, applied behaviorism, and practical applications. While Watson's behaviorism faced criticism for its extreme views, it also found practical applications in various fields beyond psychology. Some of the notable areas that adopted behaviorist principles include 1. Advertising and marketing. The principles of behaviorism, particularly the idea that behavior can be conditioned and influenced by external factors, found a natural fit in the world of advertising and marketing. Advertisers and marketers leverage these principles to shape consumer preferences and behavior. For example, the use of enticing visuals, catchy slogans, and reward systems in advertising is rooted in behaviorist principles. 2. Education Behaviorism played a significant role in shaping modern educational strategies. Behaviorist principles were applied in the design of curricula, instructional materials, and classroom management techniques. Concepts such as positive reinforcement and operant conditioning were integrated into educational practices to enhance learning and classroom behavior. 3. Behavioral Interventions Behaviorism laid the groundwork for behavioral interventions in clinical psychology, 
and therapy. Techniques like systematic desensitization, aversion therapy, and token economies are based on behaviorist principles and have been effective in treating various psychological disorders and modifying behaviors. Watson's Legacy in Psychology John B. Watson's behaviorism left an indelible mark on the field of psychology, despite the criticism and eventual modifications of his original ideas. While behaviorism in its purest form is no longer the dominant school of thought in psychology, it represents a crucial chapter in the field's evolution and a testament to the diversity of perspectives that have enriched our understanding of human behavior. The enduring legacy of Watson's behaviorism can be observed in the continued study of observable and measurable behaviors in psychology. Behaviorist principles have been integrated into contemporary psychological theories and therapeutic approaches, creating a more comprehensive understanding of human 